Hello everyone, I am Emit Alkush. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 22. You are given a hemispherical thin shell of radius R. Some amount of charge is deposited on this shell uniformly, which is given by surface charge density sigma. Determine the magnitude of the electric field at the center. Let's take an infinitesimal thin shell at an angle theta, which is measured from positive x-axis. Then its radius becomes r times cosine theta because of the Pythagorean theorem. And let the charge of this infinitesimal thin shell be dq. Now, if we assume that the charge of the hemisphere is positive, then the electric field due to this infinitesimal thin shell at the origin lies along the negative y-axis because of the symmetry. Therefore, the magnitude of the total electric field is calculated by the formula integral of dE. dE is calculated as k times dQ over r squared. In order to calculate this integral, let us find an expression for dq in terms of theta. We know that the surface charge density is obtained as dq over dA. Then we obtain dq as sigma times dA. According to the figure, dA is calculated by the formula 2 pi r times cosine theta times r times d theta or dq is written to be sigma times 2 pi r squared cosine theta d theta. Now we put this value into the integral. Since the charge is deposited in this shell uniformly, then the surface charge density sigma is constant. Also, k and 2 pi are constant. Therefore, they can be taken outside the integral sign. So, we obtain 2 pi times k times sigma times integral cosine theta d theta. The limits of the integral is 0 and 90 degrees. But the upper limit is not taken 180 degrees. Because in this case, we would calculate the effect of this thin shell twice. The integral of cosine theta is sine theta. So, we get 2 pi k times sigma times sine theta between the 0 and 90 degrees. 2 pi times k times sigma times sine 90 degrees minus sine 0. Here, sine 90 degrees is 1 and sine 0 is 0. As a result, we obtain the electric field at the center as E equals 2 pi k times sigma. As you see, it is independent of the radius of the hemisphere. This means that whatever the radius of the hemisphere, the electric field at the center is the same. Ok, this is the end of the discussion of this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.